Hello there, my name is Vladimir Uspensky and today, together with my monkey, we will talk about seven tips, seven principles that will improve your improvisation, that will help you to start doing this improvisation. Uh, we will talk about boogie woogie style, but most of that principles, most of that tips will work with uh, uh, whatever music style. So let's go, but before we start, please subscribe to my channel. Uh, and let's begin. So the first one, the first tip, just learn different right hands. Oh. I, I forgot, we, we will not put, we, we should talk about left hand, but we'll do a little bit, because I have already a lot of uh, tutorials on my channel about left hand, so um, best of all w would be if you find somewhere here, and in the description I will put these left hand videos, and you, you will look at there. Uh, right now I will just say that we use this figure, we play uh, harmony like this first 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 then fourth fourth first first fifth fifth first first so it looks like this Okay, uh, right now I was playing uh, fast, quite fast, and in the beginning also. But we will, uh, when we will talk about those tips, we will talk about them, and I will make all the examples in a much slower tempo. Okay, so the first tip is just to learn different right hands, and when you know more than one, you can already make some combinations. That's not real improvisation, but it's already a start, first start. So, what do I mean? For example, we have this hand. By, by hand, I mean this figure, okay? So, this phrase, but it's not uh, just a phrase, because when we improvise and do some different phrases, they, are, they could be all different. Those phrases that we are talking about, we do them during the whole 12 bars uh, harmony for many times. We change steps and do the same figure. But uh, what I want to say that we take one of this figure and one figure from another uh, right hand and we make combinations. So my example is this. So this is the first hand play in all our examples would be in C major. So it, it could be like this or it could be like this. A short version. And uh, we play this figure from all those steps from the first, from the fourth and from fifth. From fourth oh sorry. From fourth it looks like this from F. And then again from the first from the fifth, and from the first. But that's not an improvisation, that's just a figure that you learned and play the same figure to every step. Yeah? So that's not improvisation. And we learned already this one hand, and we are learning another one. For example, this one. 
like this. Three, four. Let's do it slow. Be careful because it starts before one. It starts not like this. No, it starts before. Like, let's say, three, four. slower then we go with the same we don't go up we do the same thing for the fourth but we change one step Just looking to everything and to the camera, and sometimes I'm mistaken. So that, that, that's the phrase. And what I'm talking about is, if we already, if we have only two figures, two right hands, we already can start to make some mixes. For example. That's already a combination. But we can go on, do something like this. Or we can start from this one. Play it twice. And now that's also cool. it's already it's already variations. It's already you, you are starting to improvise. So that's my first tip. Just learn. And don't stop when you learn two uh, different hands. Learn three, four, five, then more, 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 and then your combination, your combinations uh, will be already a kind of improvisation when you know more than two hands. Okay, that's it. The second one, the second tip. It's when you take a part of the figure and make it your phrase. We were trying here to do this. So just taking this one. But let's go on uh, because it's not so interesting example. If we have, ah, yeah, I, I have this cool example. I was learning um, right hand for the fifth step and it sounds like this, it's complicated for G. one more time and by the way I have these right hands and if you need to learn them uh, there is a, a playlist where I have all of them and I will put uh, add it to the description also so this is this one I will play slower one more time I forgot So I can take a part of this phrase, this one, the very end, the, the, the very end. Yeah, and I can use it. It's it's for the first step, and I can do it from the beginning, not like in the end, like it was the end of that big large phrase. No, we just take this small part and play it like this. Some variations of it. and we can move here. Oh, sorry. Yeah, so from F, from G. We can change rhythm a little bit. Yeah, so there, are, there is a field to your creativity because it's not you are creating a new phrase from scratch. You just you have the bass and you can 
change, uh, change something. Yeah. Okay. Another example. Uh, let's take from the same phrase. For example, I like this thing. What's what's that? We are now in the fifth on the fifth step, in the chord of G. So I play. Let's let's analyze it. So it's G first, third, fifth, seventh, first, and this is this is sixth. So. So first and sixth, and this is seventh and fifth. Okay. So let's do this. Let's take this phrase and move on to our first step and take this phrase as a bass one. So we start from C, yeah, and we do this. That's perfect phrase. That's a perfect phrase. Yeah. We can do this as a as a melody for boogie woogie, yeah? No, it's it's maybe better for ending, but yeah, you can use it inside of your improvisation. So for example. Something like that. So just play with this phrase, yeah? Let's let's do it together. For example, yeah, it's it's a good phrase. Or let's do something else. Let's do something else like this. Ah, look. Uh, occasionally, it it will work for F major because. <laughs> That's funny. So we just found a new phrase. Uh, really occasion. I was playing it in, in C major, but it will work. It's it's cool. For F major. Yeah, we have got a new phrase. So that's a second tip. You just take a part of some phrase and uh, create your own phrase. You can take just this small part and uh, it will be already a phrase or you can take this small part and play it a few times. You can play with the rhythm, we can change something, you can roll it and it will be your uh, new phrase that will be comfortable for you and that's, that's a very useful way, useful tip. So the third, third tip, third principle use m minor and major thirds because that's super typical for boogie woogie all this and create your own phrases like use this it's, it's super cool just this you can create a lot of phrases based on this based on this Now, for example, we go to fourth step and we'll continue this idea. So, and then again. So, for example, and then fifth. Something like that. So this one is super useful. Create your phrases based on this. It's, uh, it's it doesn't work with any uh, kind of music, but for boogie woogie, for blues, for jazz, it works amazing when you play major and use this step. And it could be uh, like we we are starting from this idea. And what we can add? So we can add the first one, yeah. But what else we can do? We can do, go up. Yeah, but what else we can do? We can add more notes like this. So and we create, we can create phrase from this one. Yeah, you see, it's 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 super interesting and it's really it really works. So that was third and a third major major and minor third changing. Yeah, okay, the third tip and now. 
It's time to tip number four. Use these two arpeggios if we are talking about C major. It's first, third, fifth, and sixth. Or first, third, fifth, and seventh. Yeah? It's not this one, not natural seven, but this our dominant seven, uh, low seven step. Okay, so use this thing or this. And you can, I don't mean that you should play it like this or only like this, but just cho choose your notes from, from to imp improvise from those, from those notes or like this. Let's say we are in C. We use this principle and now one what I'm using here a lot what what's that when I play F the fourth step this is a fourth step so I I'm, I'm using this one what's that first third fifth seventh so it's um, dominant seventh chord it starts from fourth in our case and we do we move this one here so it's an inversion. We we invert this sound. We move it from, let's say, I will show like this. From here to here, and then we move this one, this one, from here to here. So we have instead of this one, we have this one. It's the same chord, just an inversion. So what I'm playing is this or some phrases. Based on this chord. Also, if we are in F now, so we can do this one. So it's this one is dominant seven. This is major third with six in an inversion. So this is the first, the third, the fifth, the sixth, and we can play this super cool combination. Works very very good for improvising and learn it. Like learn it to both sides. Like not only just like this and that's it. No, do some sequences, for example this, sequentials. And backwards. So I played only these notes, yeah? And I played like in a group of three. And then I uh, learned them in a group of four. And then I play them like this. And then I make combination so I can move from here to here uh, like this. Oh, sorry. So that's it. So you, you just find those steps. Let, let's go back to the first step to, to this C. So we do this one, three, five, six. One, three, five, six. Or we can make an inversion. Or we do this one, three, five, seven. Low seven. And the same we do with this one for different uh, root notes and for those two chords. Yeah, that will help you a lot. Uh, so for, for the fifth, for example, I also use this position, but it could be this one. And what's this? Why I play this? Look, that's a perfect example. We have this G, that's first now, because we're temporary, this is the first. So. Originally it's fifth because we are in a key of C, but right now when we are talking about this chord, it's our first step, yeah? First, third, fifth, and then sixth. And so we, we have this third, we have this uh, seventh, and now here we play fifth, sixth, so 
both of our arpeggios are used now. I hope, I hope you get it. So that's it. Two arpeggios that's very useful for boogie woogie and for a lot of different styles, but not for any style of music. But for for old traditional music, it works perfect. Then let's go on our principle number five. Tip number five: use tremolo. I uh, do you remember in the beginning of this tut tutorial, I was playing this improvisation and I was using tremolo there. So tremolo, you can use having even one note like this just play fast and fast but then on, on piano you cannot do it with one one finger you should change your finger and that's a little bit complicated but with two sounds it's very easy to learn you just have to do it very slow like this or this and it's easy because you're you have only two fingers easy to control so switch on metronome and do this Then you feel that you are very comfortable, you're controlling everything, so go on with metronome day by day, and then you have this, then you have this, then you have this, then you can do it with more than more, more than two sounds here, yeah? like even with four. But you shouldn't play like all of them in in different time. You can play like this. If let's let's say we have these three sounds, we do tremolo with this string. So we can do this. Or we can do this. Or we can do this. You see, so there are different combinations, different possibilities, but it's not necessary to have, like, let's say... You can play this also, like takata takata takata, but it's not necessary. So tremolo works perfect. Let's go uh, with one example. So we have this first step and it could be this third and fifth or this one. I, am, I like more this one. Now we go to the F to fourth. What we can do is this or it could be this. I just choose from, from the chord. So this one is if we are in F is first and third. Also it could be this first and seventh, and I, I, I take this nine and also make this cool third sound. Or this one could be. You see, there are a lot of possibilities, and it will be all of them would sound different but beautiful. So just train those combinations, and you can you will be able to play very beautiful music. Let's change it. You see, it's, it sounds amazing for my ear. So we, we just find this for fifth, for example. This for fourth and for first. Find those movements, not to jump like this. Find different possibilities and try, try it. And if we like uh, what, what, what we've got, like the result, so we uh, put put it to our list of tricks, list of what we know and can use. So that become your knowledge and your ability. This is true. Let's play something like this.
let's go on. That was the fifth, and now a tip number six. Playing through the note, the low note in not not the bass note, but bass note, but playing a phrase, building a phrase using this low note and going backwards and forwards like this. So you see, I always go backwards. Uh, we, we can the, the best example is this one. So you always go to this first like this. You see, I I, I, I always go back. But also it could be not the first one, it could be fifth, this one. So I can play cool phrases, I can build, this is the first hour, first, so we are in C. It could be like this. So I can use sixth, seventh, first, these two thirds, even like this, and then fifth, or low fifth. So. so. What I'm playing now, it's, it's silly. So let's do a good one. I will try to do an example, improvisation example, and I hope I will play better than this. Okay, three, four. one was not so good the second one was much better but now you see uh, so I was using this one in the beginning yeah for the first one then I when I moved from the first to the fourth I started to use this one fourth but first first step of this F major so I was playing this and then I was using this when I started to play first again yeah then we have this fifth, and I was using this one. And then we have first. So our traditional first one. You see, that's cool, uh, cool tip. Just uh, it's it's not so easy because we're m moving on from easiest one to more complicated one so it's not so easy but just remember about it and one day you will use this tip okay so now it's time to finish with the seventh one what do you think monkey uh, seventh one the last one is answers and questions so the first uh, first let's play an example I, I was playing a, a big question. The question was this. And then I was playing an uh, answer that was here, up or, uh, here um, above this one. Let's let's do another example even better. So I will do my questions and my answers shorter. So you will see it much more quiet. Uh, you will see it better. Understand it better. Like this. <laughs> This is a question, an answer. Let's change something. Let's do uh, 
uh, ans uh, question here and an answer here. I hope you, you get it. Now let's change uh, the question and answer because now, now what I was playing, they were almost the same. So let's do this. Do you remember what we were doing in the first one, in the very first one? We was combining different right hands. So now we're doing a kind of the same, but now we use different principles. So it could be, it could be like one, one question, for example. It could be something prepared. And then an answer could be totally improvised, like... So, for example, like this. So there are different questions and different answers. Maybe we need another example, better one, so you will understand even better. Because we sh we shouldn't play only the things that are really prepared. Now we can. It's it's the thing that where the thing where you can uh, show your creativity. So here it's a perfect. This question answer principle works with whatever kind of music. Really, so let's do a good one, a good example. Let me think. So, 